Hey guys, here with another edition of Tuesday Morning Coffee. I have a treat for you today. I've got the best buyers uh, specialist in Murfreesboro. All kidding aside, Tommy Davidson is with me. Tommy's been with me for, gosh, how long now, Tommy? 20 years, 20 at least. <laughs> we started when we were 12. Actually, Tommy's been with me for seven to eight years. And Tommy um, has probably walked through about every home in Murfreesboro on the market. He shows a ton of property, works with a lot of buyers. So a segment I wanted to do today was talking about buyer's fears. And um, so I'm just going to pose it to Tommy. Tommy, in, in your opinion, what is the number one biggest fear in a buyer right now? I think definitely the number one biggest fear is that they have a fear of paying too much for the home right now. Now, is a lot of that because of the market we're in and the media is telling us it's a buyer's market? And definitely. And uh, they had a friend that bought in 07. 06 maybe and they see they're they're struggling or they're upside down in their home or they're they turn on CNBC and uh, They hear about all the foreclosures. Okay, so how do you help them subside that fear? How do you help them quench that fear to handle that objection? What do you what do you say to them to give them? You know kind of a clarity that they're not gonna pay too much Well, one thing I, I try to build their confidence because I, I, I usually put them on some type of a search where they see what's out there and I, I tell them they probably know the market as well as I do, or probably even better. They they uh, they get a, an email every day, and they're looking at homes. And one day they might get a home that's probably so much better than one they saw two weeks ago. So I really let them know that hey, they know a lot about this market as well. You know, I was at a seminar a couple of weeks ago, and uh, a guy, the 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 teacher said, typically the buyer is the smartest person in the market. They get it. So a lot of times they're going to get it themselves, but they need reassurance. Definitely. So how do we reassure them that, that they're okay? Well, once they pick the home that they want, we're going to come back in here and we're going to do our homework, like you said, and we're going to pull up homes in that area, probably in the, the subdivision, and we're going to compare what the last homes have sold for. And what I tell them is in this type of market, we're, we're probably not going to want to pay what the, the last person paid because the market's declining. So I reassure them, look, we are paying less, usually per square foot, that's what our market looks at. We're paying less than what the last person paid, and usually we're paying less than anybody else has. Right, right. What, what's another safeguard in our market that they have, just in the, case everybody's wrong? The final say-so is the appraisal, and appraisals aren't like they used to be where you could uh, go get your re home refinanced and pull all that money out. Uh, the appraisal is much more accurate. They... they um, much more conservative. They There's are been very a lot conservative. Of, uh, very conservative. A lot of uh, reform to, to that industry. Definitely. All right, Tommy. So we've talked about one of the biggest fears is paying too much. Let's talk about another fear that a buyer might have. What are what are other fears you're seeing out there from a buyer? If they find the one they want, it seems like they they get a little hesitant because they think something may be wrong with the home. And and why do they think something's wrong with it? Because it's because it's still on the market. <laughs> That's all, Tommy and I kid around because that's always been one of my favorites. You'll see people when they walk in a home, their eyes light up, you can tell this is the home for them, and then they'll go, why is it still here? And I'm like, well, we only show you homes that are still available, but I, I guess that's just human nature. We want to know other people uh, like what we like, and sometimes we don't understand. But what are some reasons, or how, how do you help? Subside that fear. Well, some days it may have just been on the market four or five days, and I'm, I put them, I let them know that we're in a buyer's market, and it could take thirty to sixty days for something to sell. the The other thing is it could be overpriced. Four out of ten homes, I think, are are what you're saying that are going to sell in our market. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot of good homes out there that do not sell, and I see them all the time where. I don't know why they haven't sold. They're, they seem to be priced well. They're in great condition, but they're, it's just it's just a it's a challenging market out there for sellers right now. And, and sometimes, you know, I've noticed is it's still on the market 120 days later. But when you really do your homework, you're like, well, they started here, and finally, 120 days later, they've gotten the price down to where. It's, re it's reasonable, right. and they've probably been hurt by that because they were at a high price so long. So uh, there's many reasons, but we all have fears. Uh, buyers have fears. Sellers have fears. Uh, as a human race, we have fears. That's a lot of times what holds us back from doing anything. So hopefully this helps you if you're a buyer out there on some of the common fears and that you're not alone, that, you ha that, that you're just like a lot of other people. So if we can help you in any way, subside your fears. 
uh, answer questions, please give us a call, 867-3020. Thanks a lot, Tommy. Thank you, John. All right, bro. <laughs>